I'm Todd Grisham. Welcome to the one and only Empire Fight Camp. And here with me, my broadcast colleague, it's Johnny Nelson. I feel like a fraud. How have I got these ringside seats? And now it's time for the tale of the tape. Sugar Ray Robinson in the middleweight division, 160 pounds. Sugar Ray Robinson, one of the most skilled boxers to ever lace up the gloves, inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame in 1990, and he fights out of Harlem, New York. Sugar Ray Leonard, he of course won world titles in five different weight classes, including the undisputed welterweight title, his hometown is Wilmington, North Carolina. Look at this. These fights are so up for it. Look at that. This bout is scheduled for 15 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from New York, here is one of boxing's all-time greats, with 174 wins in his 201 fights. A welterweight champion of the world, a five-time middleweight champion of the world, Sugar Ray Robinson. Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting one of the all-time greats, the Hall of Fame legend of boxing, a five-division champion of the world, Sugar Ray Leonard. Lots of hype as they will fight into the night. We're outdoors for this big main event. You can hear the noise, you can hear the fans. I've been to many, many fights like this, and it's very, very eerie. So they stare into each other's eyes one final time, touch gloves, and get prepared for battle. Let's do it. So here we go. Should be a good one. He didn't take that jab well at all. He just gets out of the way of that right up with that. Have you ever danced with the devil under the pale moonlight? That's what these two men are about to go through as they've been talking so much trash on social media. It's time to settle the score. He can't score with that uppercut. And he just misses with that jab. And a counter left. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. To beat a counter puncher, you've got to take them out of their pace. Do not wait for them, because if you wait, they'll pepper and pop you all night long. Rush them. What a punch. That punch scores. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Let's talk about Robinson. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. Well, we've just taken a big breath, and here we go again. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Timing beats speed. Speed beats power. They exchange punches. It's like a game of joust. 
They both got their swords. They're slinging it. Missed him with that uppercut. Right punch. When you've got two evenly matched fighters in this weight class, it sometimes comes down to who's in better condition. Middleweight always gives us a class. If you've got two plus middleweight fighters, you're in for action. I'm quite sure right now, if you know your boxing, there's a certain fighter, Mr. Mr. I would just say marvelous, but some fighters were unbelievable middleweight. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Hey, those punches add up. He misses with that jab. And again. Sugar Ray Leonard, can you believe it? Just got knocked down. It looked great live. How will it look again on a slow motion replay? That'll be a 10-8 round for sure with the knockdown. You've been put down, you've got to think right, survive and then give it by the next round. And there's the bell for round three. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. Todd, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything. Full battle because I know his legs are gone. So this... You watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've done in the ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think... What the hell am I going to do now? In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than... And we may see a stoppage here. The referee will begin the count. Ten seconds to get up. I don't see any movement here. It looks like this one's going to be over. They knew it when they threw it. The perfect body shot, and no one's standing up to that one. Let's talk about Robinson. 
So it's plan B time after being knocked down in that round. To make or break a fighter. Here we go in round four. Who's going to land the first big shot? Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a he's got a bluff him. Beautiful counter punch. And just as quickly as the action slows down, it heats back up. What a massive upset this would be. And it Sugar Ray's in trouble. And there it is, the knockdown punch we knew was coming. I don't know, I gotta take another look at that. So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. Oh, Leonard just got rocked. Didn't wait long to get back in and get engaged. Good punch. Gotta watch out for that uppercut. We're not seeing a lot of defense. As we enter the final 10 seconds here, it's probably a round he'd rather forget. Let's talk about Robinson. Boy, this next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we just witnessed. I love the response, though. Got back up. Took a deep breath and thought, right, brush it up. Get on with it. Time for the fifth round. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him, throw him, push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go because you know they're on shaky legs. They're a, a Nazi away from getting stopped. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. I have never seen a fighter so fast in my life. How do you deal with this? You've got to hope, you've got to hope they run out of steam. Might want to back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. Good counter punching. Both men step back for just a moment. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, toe to toe with them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way. And they get so angry, so frustrated because they can't win. There's a right hand. The perfect counter lands. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Good counter-punching from both these fighters. Stumbling around in potholes. Bambi legs. 
Let's talk about Robinson. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. On to the sixth round. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when he'll catch you. He just misses with that big right hand. Still waiting for this fighter to show some defensive ability. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Still swinging with nothing left. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which, despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Let's talk about Robinson. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this. Here we go, it's round seven. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Solid punch. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. This can be so frustrating when you're in such a fast fighter. Fast fighter that can throw three, four shot combinations before you've even let one off. That Sugar Ray Leonard, can you believe it? Just got knocked down. I don't care how good your chin is. A punch like that, and you're going down. So time to go celebrate after another knockout win here. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. You see shots like that in the gym. At least for once, this is on TV. Thousands around the world saw that shot. They probably even heard it. 